Hello, hello, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Good evening. How are you doing today? Are you ready for your class? Welcome back. Welcome back. Hello, Gabriela. Hello, Santos. Hello, Daniela. Hello, Jefferson. Hello, Jose Antonio. Hello, Patricia. Hello, Dalila. Welcome, welcome. How are you today? Hello, Laura. Welcome. How are you? Hello, Thelma. Welcome. Elena, welcome. Andrea, Ovidio. Hello, hello. Tamar, Sabrina. Hello, Claudia. Hello, Allison. Welcome back, everybody. How was your weekend? Good evening, teacher. High five. Excellent. Evening. Excellent. That's great. I'm happy to hear that. So everybody had a good weekend. Are you ready for your English class? All right. I'm ready. I'm ready. Excellent. Yes, Excellent. We're going to go ahead and yes, come in there. Very good. We're going to start uh, today. We are going to start the next section. The next section is section number three. And we're going to be looking at section 3.0 lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán vocabulario sobre tiendas y otros lugares y discutirán dónde pueden conseguir cosas diferentes. Let's look at the first one. Vocabulary, places and things. Places and things. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Can everybody hear? Yeah. You can buy aspirin yes, at a drugstore. Yes, okay. All right. Repeat, please. A bank. A bank. A bank. A bank. A, bank. A drugstore. A drugstore. A drugstore. A, drug A post office. Post, post, post office. Office. Guys, I could hear some uh, interference. What's going on? Uh, Miguel, okay, I'm gonna put Miguel in silence. Thank you. A, a gas station. Gas station. Gas station. A restaurant. A restaurant. A bookstore. A bookstore. A bookstore. A bookstore. A department store. A department store. A supermarket. A supermarket. supermarket. All right, one more, one more time, one more time. A bank. A bank. A bank. A bank. A drug store. A drug, a drug store. store. A post office. A post, post office. office. A gas station. A gas station. A restaurant. A restaurant. A bookstore. A bookstore. A supermarket. A supermarket. Okay. At this moment, does anybody have any questions in regards to this vocabulary? Questions, questions? No, okay. Uh, what's another place that you know or another, uh, yeah, another place that you know in your neighborhood? A library. A library. Very good. A library. Excellent. What else? A clinic. A clinic. Excellent. Clinic. Very good. What else? 
the supermarket. A supermarket, or you can say a grocery store. Grocery store. What else? What's another car place? Wash. A car wash. Excellent. A car wash. Okay. What else? A barber. A barber shop. Barber shop. A barber shop. Good. What else? A hardware store. Okay, a hardware store. Like Vidri, a beauty Creo. Salon. A beauty salon. Salon. What else? A mall. A mall. A, a mall. Excellent. A park, a church. a church, a church, a restaurant, a restaurant. Good, good. Okay. Uh, repeat after me. A library. Library. A, a library. A clinic. A clinic. clinic. A grocery store. A, a grocery store. A car wash. A car wash. A, car wash. A barber shop. A barber shop. A hardware store. A hardware store. A beauty salon. A beauty salon. A mall. A mall. A mall. A park. A park. A park. And a church. And a church. Okay. Let's listen to the video. Two. You can buy bread at a supermarket. Three. You can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four. You can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five. You can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six. You can buy stamps at a post office. Seven. You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like for you to do next is to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, you can pay bills at a bank. Okay. You're going to give me at least five examples and you're going to write the examples here in the discussion forum the title will be vocabulary places and things so you're going to come over here and you're going to write añade una publicación you're going to put vocabulary places and things Vocabulary, places, and things. Then over here, you're going to write the examples. Uh, you can pay the bills at a bank. Puedes pagar tus recibos en un banco. Uh, number two. You can buy shoes at a department store. You can buy shoes at a department store. And number three, you can buy donuts at Mr. Donuts. Mr. Donuts. No sé por qué se me vino ese ejemplo. Me van a de donuts. Well, you get the idea. You can. Y no estamos yeah. en septiembre, tío. 
Yeah, y eso que estoy a dieta, según el niño dice, ¿verdad? Pero esa dieta solo él la conoce, ¿por qué? <laughs> I ate hamburgers, pizza, pupusas, whatever. Don't worry, teacher, don't worry. Lo don't apoyamos. worry, don't worry, be happy. <laughs> All right, any questions at this moment? Uh, teacher, ¿sería utilizando el mismo vocabulario o podemos utilizar otros? Eh, puede usar el vocabulario que está allí, uh -huh. pero también puede usar otro vocabulario. Eh, uh -huh. Por ejemplo, si usted puede decir, si usted quiere decir, um, you can play football at the soccer field. Puedes jugar fútbol en la cancha de fútbol. Or you can say, uh, you can pay with Chivo Wallet in Super Selectos. Uh, puedes pagar con a Chivo Wallet in Super Selectos. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, you can eat popcorn at the movie theater. You can dance salsa at the club. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Or whatever. Any questions? Questions, questions? Okay. So this is going to be your homework. That's going to be your homework. Now we're gonna be looking at section number 3.2, knowledge check. Instructions, listen to the Anderson family's conversations to answer the question. Escuche la conversación de la familia Anderson y responde las preguntas. Did everybody do this activity already? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. yes. Thank you. Everybody, okay, okay, let's listen and then we will check together. Page 87, exercise two. Can everybody listen. hear? I need a new yes. swimsuit. Yes. Okay. Part A, okay. listen to the Anderson family's conversations. What do they need? Where are they going to buy them? Complete the chart. One. Jean, are you gonna go to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things, too. Two. Are you going to look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for dessert tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. Three. What's wrong? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. Four. Mom, let's go to a movie tonight. Good idea, Mike, but what movie? I don't know. We need to look in a newspaper. Well, your father is going to the drugstore right now. Go with him and get a newspaper. Oh, great. Dad? Dad? All right. Let me have one volunteer. Give me your answer. I want you to read. First, I want you to read the question and then identify the example. Let me have one volunteer, please. One, okay, Jose Antonio, uh, Miguel, number two, Gabriela, number three. Okay, um, what is Jim going to buy? The swing site? that she needs swimsuit swimsuit swimsuit, mm -hmm. swimsuit. 
Okay, thank you. Is okay, the answer Tamara, is number four. Tamar number four. Mm -hmm. okay, the answer is at the department store. At the department store. Good, good. Mm -hmm. Number two, Miguel. Number two, what does mom need from the supermarket? The answer is cookies for dessert. Cookies for dessert. Cookies dessert. Okay. for dessert. Good. Uh, number three, Gabriela. What does that new from the grocery store? Aspirin. 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 Good job. Aspirin. 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 Tamar, number four. Where is Mike going to go with his dad? And the answer is to the drugstore to get a newspaper. Perfect. To the drugstore to get a newspaper. Good job. Very good. Any questions in regard to this section? Any questions in regards to this section? Questions, questions. Nobody? Nobody. No tenga pena. Okay, good. All right, let's move forward. We're going to be looking at lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when saying compound nouns. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán a sonar natural cuando están diciendo, estén diciendo sustantivos compuestos. ¿Quién me puede decir que es un ejemplo de un sustantivo compuesto? Básicamente dos cosas que significan una. Por ejemplo, tú dices galleta de chocolate. Chocolate. Chip. Cookie. Este es un ejemplo de un compound noun. Any questions? Una cosa que es compuesta de más que una palabra, pero solamente es una cosa. Por ejemplo, chocolate chip cookie, galleta de chocolate, o post office, el correo, gas station, la gasolinera, restroom, el baño, coffee shop, um, donde venden café como Starbucks o coffee cup. Eh, drugstore, básicamente es farmacia o así como la San Nicolás. Supermarkets, like super selectos. Eh, bookstore, eh, like tienda libre. Abre latas. ¿Cuál? Abre latas. Abre latas, ok. Ese es un muy buen ejemplo de un sustantivo compuesto. Eh, en inglés sería can opener. Can opener. All right, very good. Opener. Eh, another example. Perdón. Anteojos. Anteojos. Sunglasses. Okay. Sun. Sunglasses. All right. Good. ¿Qué más dijeron por ahí? Pancake. Pancakes. 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 Correct. Good. Good. Cupcakes. Cupcakes también, right? Cupcakes. Okay. Bueno, veo que entendemos la idea. Let's listen to the video. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when expressing compound nouns. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Compound nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Supermarket. Bookstore. Department store. 
I would like to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that you can see around you is a noun. Compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun. For example, the compound noun gas station. Gas, the word by itself, is a noun. Station is a noun. Together, they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns. Stressing words in English is a big topic. However, in this class, we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only. So the simple rule that we can follow is whenever we have a compound noun, we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. Post office. Gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Now it's your turn to practice. What I would like for you to do next is to practice these compound nouns and record yourself using the website bookaroo.com. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, guys. Can everybody hear me? Yeah, we can. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, for this activity, what I would like for everybody to do is you are going to go ahead and uh, take a couple of minutes and you are going to record your voice on vocaroo.com and you're going to pronounce I would like these words. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop. When you finish, I want you to put your recording down here in the platform. Any questions? Any questions at this moment? OK. I want, you to I want you to practice the pronunciation in pairs. I want you to practice the pronunciation in pairs. Take turns practicing the pronunciation, and then you will send it to the platform. Ready, let's go. Hi, Daniela. Are you alone? Hi, teacher. Yes, I'm alone. Okay, let me go ahead and put Santos over here with you. And I'm going to see if I can put also Ovidio here with you. And we're going to see if we can put Jefferson over here with you because they are working alone. Jefferson, Thelma. All right, so we got Ovidio, Jefferson, and Santos working pairs Hola. with Daniela. Lee? Teacher. Hi. 
yo recién me, me, me volví a conectar porque el teléfono se me está frizando horrible, entonces no sé le, el tema, la temática, no sé. Ah, estamos practicando la pronunciación de los nombres compuestos. Mm, ok. Se van a grabar en Boca Room y de allí lo van a poner en la plataforma. Ay, ahorita, fíjese que ahorita este teléfono está frisado. No creo que pueda entrar a otra, a otra ventana porque está bien raro. Ok. Y se me sobrecalentó, literal. Oh, no. Ah, ¿Puedo repasar así personal? Me imagino, ¿verdad? Eh, sí, ahorita en este grupo tenemos a Santos, tenemos a Guadalupe, Jefferson, tenemos a Ovidio, ah, perdón, Guadalupe, tenemos a Jefferson, Ovidio y Daniela. Eh, full moon, luna llena. Uh -huh. Ese es un ejemplo. Full Rainbow. moon. Ajá. Father in law también. Eh, suegro. Uh -huh. Father in law. Este, mother in law también. Eh, bus stop, parada de buses. Bus station. Ajá. Sí. Bus station, como vos dijiste, también, ¿verdad? Mm. Está office. Y estación. Este check-in también. ¿En cuál? ¿Qué pasó? Check-in. Ya lo escribí. Es que hay. Ah, no, salí. Dice. Bueno, a ver qué nos dice. Uh -huh. Check-in, check tal vez. Ese voy a poner, tal vez lo puedo ver. All right, welcome back, welcome back. Can I have one volunteer, please? Can I have one volunteer, please? Can I have one volunteer? One volunteer. One volunteer. One volunteer. One volunteer. Let me have one volunteer. Carlos, go ahead, Carlos. Let me listen to your pronunciation, Carlos. Este sería sustantivos completos, eh, ejemplo, o compuestos, perdón, sustantivos compuestos. Ejemplos. Tengo. I have five exposed. Number one, Moon. Number two, Father in Law. Number three, Bus Stop. Number four, Coffee Mall. Number five, Check In. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent work. Carlos, let me have uh, one more volunteer. One more volunteer. Tamar. Okay. Um, the first post office, the station, drugstore, supermarket, restroom, coffee shop, bookstore and department store 
Perfect. Perfect. Thank you, Tamar. Let me have another volunteer. Andrea. Um, yes, teacher. Um, yo encontré airport, uh, cheesecake, fireman, football, girlfriend. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent work. Another volunteer. Another volunteer. Me teacher. Gabriela. Uh, for example, one rainbow by bus bus station, check in is self employment. Very good. Check in self employment. Excellent. Another volunteer. Another volunteer. One more volunteer. Okay, no more. All right, that's okay. Uh, all right, go ahead, Daniela. After Daniela, Miguel. Okay. Um, yo encontré Moonlight, Notebook, Newspaper, Skyscraper, Sunrise, Snowboard. Perfect, perfect. Thank you. Miguel, go ahead, Miguel. Um, maybe another example, a pancake. Uh, we'll, we'll share. And um, uh, let me let me see. Uh, a fireman. Okay. That's it. Excellent. That's Excellent. It. That's good enough. That's good enough. All right. Uh, good job, guys. I see that most of you understand this topic. What we're going to do right now is go ahead and take the attendance. When I call your name, I would like for you to please say present. When I call your name, please say present. If you see that your partner is here, but it's not responding, eh, please let me know. Si usted ve que su compañero está aquí, pero no está respondiendo, por favor me avisa. Eh, let's get started. Alba. Alba. Alba, Alba. Absent. Eh, Alison. Alison. Good. Eh, Andrea. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos. Present teacher. Excellent. Claudia Constante. Present. Very good. Claudia Escalante. Present teacher. Fantastic. Dalila. Present teacher. Awesome. Daniela. I'm here, teacher. Good job. Diana. Diana is absent. Okay. Tell me. Tell me, tell me, absent, okay. Elena. Present teacher. Thank you, Elena. Gabriela Ramirez. Gabriela Ramirez is absent, okay. Gabriela Orellana. Present teacher. Thank you. Hazer is present. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Jefferson. Jefferson. Excellent. Joanna. 
present. Jo Thank you, Joanna. Eh, Jose Montes. Jose Montes. Present. Very good. Jose Rodriguez. Jose Rodriguez. Absent. Escribió en el chat, teacher. Oh, que no ahora. En el chat del WhatsApp. Así es. Ok. Entonces está absent. Ah, sí, ahí está. Lo siento, teacher. Estoy trabajando. Jose Rodríguez. Is absent. All right. Uh, Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Is absent. Kevin. Kevin is absent. Crisia. Present teacher. Excellent, Crisia. Laura. Laura. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Uh, Miguel. I'm going to say present. All right. Thank you, Miguel. Ovidio. Present teacher. Excellent. Pamela. Present teacher. Thank you. Patricia. Present teacher. Awesome. Sabrina. I'm here, teacher. All right. Santos Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Fantastic. Tamar. Present, teacher. Awesome. Thelma. Present, teacher. All right. All right. So today we have absent Kevin, Jocelyn, Jose Rodriguez, Gabriela Ramirez, Delmi Rodriguez, Diana Alvarado, and Alba Luz. Absent. Okay. Thank you guys. Hi. Uno de los compañeros pidió permiso, José Rodríguez. Ok, ok. Ahí en el chat de WhatsApp mencionó el, el detalle de por qué su ausencia. Yes. Ok, thank you. All right, guys, thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and move forward. Let's look at the following activity. For the following activity, you are going to look at this section, which is section number 3.5, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán preposiciones de lugar para dar direcciones. Además, practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un entorno de la vida real. So, we're going to practice the conversation prepositions of place. Uh, prepositions of place. Listen, please. Listen, please. Prepositions of place. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. 
Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay. Uh, listen and repeat. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? Is, is there around here? A public restroom? Hmm. A public restroom? Hmm. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. 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 I don't think so. I don't, I don't think, think so. so. Oh no. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no. My son needs a restroom. My, My son, son needs, needs a restroom. restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? Where? 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 It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Yes, it's across from the park. Yes, yes. 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 it's across, across the park. From the park. From the park. You can't miss it. You, you can't miss, miss it. Thanks a Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Okay, um, at this moment, does anybody have any questions in regards to the pronunciation? Any questions in regards to the meaning of the vocabulary words? Do you have any questions right now? Questions about pronunciation, questions about the meaning? Anybody? Okay, let's practice one more time. Excuse me, can you help me? Excuse me, can you help me? Can you help me? Can you help me? Can you help me? Excuse me, can you help me? Excuse me, can you help me? I'm going to share the conversation right there so that we can go ahead and look at it over here. Is there a public restroom around here? Is there a, there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't think so. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. I, don't I don't think, think so. so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Oh, oh no. no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. 
Where on Main Street? Where on Main Street? Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. It's on the corner it's of the corner, corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First. On the corner of Main and First. Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Yes. Yes. It's across, it's across from, from the, the park. park. You can't you miss, can miss it. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Thanks a lot. lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. All right. Um, at this moment, does anybody have any questions? in regards to the vocabulary or the meaning of the words? Any questions in regards to the vocabulary or the meaning of the words? Okay, I would like for us to take a couple of minutes and practice the conversation with a partner. Okay. Practice as many times as possible, changing the roles. Let's go. Uh, let's wait for everybody to come back. Give me just one second. Hey, just waiting for everybody to come back. Just waiting for everybody to come back. Give me one second. Is everybody back? Is everybody back? Uh, yes, teacher. Yes, All right. teacher. Is everybody yes. finished or do you need more time? Finish, finish. All right. Okay. We are ready. Okay. We're going to change partners. We're going to change partners.
Hi, Thelma. Thelma, ¿verdad? Practice in pairs. Uh, practice with Tamar. Eh, yo me quedé sin pareja, teacher. Uh, ah, yeah, ya, puede, pra puede practicar con Dalila. Okay. Hi, Dalila. Hi, hi, hi. ¿Quién sería usted, compañera? Um, eh, ¿Cuál será? Okay, so man, yo y usted. Avenues. Uy, on the corner of, of Main and First. Ya la sacaron. No. Ah, ok. Quiero ver, on the corner quedó, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. sí, oh, ya está Jefferson ahí. Okay. Si quieren terminen y después. <risa> ya, ok. Ya casi. Bueno, entonces, yes, it occurs for the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Bueno. Uh, Jefferson, démosle. No sé, como quieren, si sí, yo hago la primera conversación o ustedes la segunda. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Bueno, pues comienzo. Okay. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on my on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It is on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes. It is across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Good job. Mostraba lengua, pero ahí vamos. Vamos a hacer. Ya cinco minutos, pa. Ok. Le diría la. Ok. Excuse me, can you help me? Is, the, is there is a public restroom? A room there is. Jefferson? Ya se fue. <ríe> Creo que era en mano. No, yo le hago. A public restroom. Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh, no. Mi son need a restroom. My, my son. Ah, es cierto, my son. Es que my no. Son. no. Oh, no. My son need a restroom. Well, there... All right, let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers that wants to practice. Two volunteers that want to practice, Daniela, good, and Elena, all right. Daniela is man and Elena is woman. Okay, um, teacher, can you share the screen, please? Of course. Okay, thank you. I am the man or woman, I'm sorry. You are man. Okay. Um, excuse me, can you help me? 
is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm. I'm sorry. I don't think so. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Oh, the corner of Main on First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Perfect, perfect. All right, thank you. Uh, let me have Daniela and Dalila. Daniela is man and Dalila is woman. Okay. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? Ah, a public restroom. Mm, I'm sorry, I must think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of the May and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes. It occurred from the car you can is it. Thanks a lot. Okay, perfect, perfect pronunciation. Uh, let me have the last pair, uh, as Jose Antonio, and let me have uh, Jose Antonio and Tamar. Jose Antonio man, Tamar woman. Okay, teacher. Okay, John. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restaurant around here? A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom, a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on my street. Where on my street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, guys, uh, looks like your pronunciation is improving. Um, I haven't heard any observations, so good job on that. And time's up. We will see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Thank you for joining us. Have a good evening. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.